Hi, I'm Madison Gary. And I'm Andrew Gary. Thanks for joining us today. So what are we doing today? Well, actually, we are going to be doing a product review of Ambassador Sunglasses. Okay. And why Ambassador Sunglasses? Well, Ambassador Sun actually had a representative reach out to Manly News through Instagram. They saw some of our content, liked what they saw, and thought that we would be a good candidate to um, show some of their cool sunglasses off. Okay. Uh, how many sunglasses did they send to us? They actually sent us seven pairs of sunglasses that we we're going to be able to try on and show off for you guys. Okay. Uh, how, how did we, and just to let everybody know, uh, the pairs of sunglasses that sent, uh, we picked them out. Um, mm -hmm. Madison chose a few of them, I chose a few of them, and then we kind of agreed on one or two others. Yeah. So how much did they all cost, each one? So all of these sunglasses, it doesn't matter the style or color, all of them are $58. Okay, so $58. Yeah. Um, so why don't you uh, start off with the uh, first, first pair? Okay. And they all come in this nice case. If you try to zoom in there you go. and have you. Kind of. No. It's like, nope, not going to put. There we go. go. Thank you. So Ambassador, so it's got a fancy little case. It actually has this wraparound thing, but it's kind of hard to just pop off. But um, so these are the Andrea collection. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, and yeah, this is a first product review. So please forgive show all us. the things. Yeah. So then you have... Um, a lens cloth. It's got, if I can zoom. Yeah. I don't know. You can it, kind of it's see the It's monogrammed circle. or whatever. It's uh, uh, imprinted. There you go. So, Ambassador Sun, on your little lens cleaner so that way your glasses are as clean. Okay, so, so? the first part, uh, the first pair that we picked out were the Andrea collection. This is actually a unisex sunglasses. So, this is both for women and men. Um, nice so, on you. these actually feel a little tight on my head. Oh, really? Just a little. Right behind my so, ears. And just anybody, uh, what, we, terrible. what we found out with sunglasses, you know, just in general, uh, normal people, it's the, it's the shape of the face, the eyes, the nose, but also how it feels on your heads. You know, um, yeah. and Madison, how big your brain is. Yep. Madison's head is a little bit smaller than mine. Mine's a little bit larger, yeah. vice versa. So Which you is, said, we, we actually learned that in the Army because you had a bigger hat than me. Yeah. So yours, um, so you said uh, yours a little tight on yours. Yeah, um, I don't know. They just didn't sit on me right. But that's that, okay. For me, not too bad. Um, <gasps> you know what? I figured out what it is. You look like you're ready to go on safari. That's what it is. You think so? Mm. Totally. I'm gonna respectfully disagree. So <laughs> That's just okay. showing a little bit. Uh, you'll see on some of the other sunglasses, the nose pieces, um, the frame. If you can see here, it's got a uh, uh, thicker. I don't even know what uh, thicker piece. piece. Yeah, here and then this might be metal, and then it goes off into the coverings right here. Metal or metal-ish products. Ish. Yeah, uh, uh, tinted. This is. I would call this is blue. Would you say this blue it's or ash? Ash. Okay, it's ash. Ash. <laughs> ash. So, uh, there you go. So I'm gonna wear these, and you. Okay. Why don't you take the look at the next one? So the next. So every single pair of these came with the same case and the same little wipe in them. Uh, so the next pair. These are my all-time favorite. These are the Ava Collection Rose. <laughs> Um, so yes, rosé is definitely my favorite wine, which I don't drink anymore, but, um, the color I am still here for, this dusty pink, here we go. And I'm loving the cat eye because I, I really like kind of vintagey looks, so yeah. I'm, I'm here for it. What do you think? It looks good. So. And I like that the frame is kind of that clear, yeah, and it doesn't, and it has those nice nose pieces that don't catch in your hair as well. Yep. Uh, and then you know, a little bit closer if we can. See, there you go. <laughs> if it'll focus. Yeah, if, if it will focus, but it looks <laughs> it looks pretty good. And like she said, it's pretty. Yeah. Quick. And these actually feel decently sturdy. Like these feel like a solid pair of sunglasses. Flick them. <laughs> well, hey, so far so good. Quality okay. sunglasses. So the next pair is the Dominique, and this is in like the tortoise collection. Oh, I'm loving that. So it this looks better is better on you. <laughs> This is the tortoise collection. So these are kind of like um, 
Or the, well, I for, don't know. They look kind of vintage too. I like these. They fit well. I don't but, think they're not going to fall off my face. <laughs> uh, well, first off, are they unisex? Or are they male? Oh, yes, or correct. Okay, so these are unisex sunglasses. So these are for women or men. So um, husbands, buy an extra pair of these and keep them in your truck. So that way when your wife gets in and doesn't have her sunglasses. Or or if you, you lost your sunglasses. Or, yeah, and you're driving, you're driving your favorite gal around or the family. And you have to put, put a could, pair on. Well, yeah. hey. The wife has her giant, uh, <laughs> giant sunglasses that she got. That's, and, yeah. Well, now you have a pair. So. Yeah, early two thousands girl in me. I can't help it. Okay, so yeah, men's and women's. Actually, I mean, I'm okay with this on my face. So I have kind of a very sharp jawline, almost a masculine face, but hmm. I don't know. I think they look all right. So these, well, yeah, they they stay on my head pretty well. I'm not I'm not hating them. They they look pretty good. Um, now these actually comparatively, sorry. They got the nose pieces. That's that's go. one issue for me is these are not ones that I would be able to wear when my hair is up in a ponytail because those nose pieces are the ones that will dig into that part <laughs> yep. and um, pull those little strands of hair out and it's going to hurt. So, uh, okay. All so. right, so the next we actually got these in two colors. This is the Calvin collection. These are a men's sunglasses, but honestly, I got a pair for myself because I like these. So these are classic. So if you order anything in classic, clack, okay, if I can get it to, no, it's focusing on Andrew right now. Oh. Um, no, you're fine. If uh, anything is classic, it is going to be the black color. So I like these. These are fun. They have like the double little. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, what that, and, there's and probably a name for it. If you work in sunglasses. Anatomy you know. of a sunglass. Yeah, that's probably a thing. If you're like fancy and in like the sunglass industry or whatever. So this is, uh, these are black and then they've got like a silver side piece on them. They're fun. They're cute. I like the silver accents. And then we have the uh, brown oh. Do you or mind cafe. If, do you mind if I digress a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell. Okay. So, um, well, actually... Yeah, yeah, let me, so um, I'll kind of bring these up, if you can kind of see, that the tint is, is, uh, what's it, slightly faded, or not Ombre. At, it's uh, an ombre, is, uh, the, is the word you're looking for. At the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, Where it goes so, darker to lighter yeah, a little darker bit. Yeah, darker to lighter. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, see how we work together? She helps me out. So, just to let you know, if you get these... That's what they're kind of going for. So, and like she said, she got them. Um, um, we also picked out another color, which is this color is what? Cafe. Cafe. So they're both Calvin mm -hmm. men's. Cafe and? Classic. Classic. Yes. So. Uh, the color is black, but the style is classic. But everything that's in style of classic is black. Yeah. So I, yeah, once again, uh, no. I like them. Uh, no nice. piece. Yeah, I don't mind them. Uh, these these don't feel as tight as those other those Andrea ones did. Did you mention about the little silver on the side? Mm -hmm. Okay, the little silver inside on the side, and fancy. then in the middle, uh, right there. So I don't <laughs> I don't uh, mind these, but actually when I kind of looked those on and tried those earlier, um, I actually like those a little bit more. If you don't mind. That's all right. I'll try on the next pair. See. All right. So the next ones we got are the Bryant Umbers. So. Um, I don't know why, but umber, I, it feels like a weird word to me. It feels weird to say. I don't know why. And I think these are just a vintage golden color. I don't see umber, but I don't know. I don't mind them. So the, these are actually men's. I like them. I think they look nice. My problem, that is the same problem. That nose piece. That nose piece, but men don't have to deal with that most. Okay, well, some men do if they have long this hair. This thick head of hair <laughs> sometimes does. No. Does it get caught in your hair too? I don't remember. It's not. It's not a common. <laughs> it's not a common occurrence. To be no, honest. In fairness, okay, he uh, doesn't normally wear sunglasses like this. He's no. He's got yeah. the combat. Uh, the ballistic glasses. <laughs> the ballistic glasses that are... people usually wear in the army. Yeah. Uh, which is something I mentioned before. Uh, when we were just talking in passing, was that actually those ballistic glasses cost as much as these. Yeah. But uh, bring up about these, bring up closer, uh, the, the frame is definitely thin. So if you're yes. used to wearing aviators, 
the frame the frame will get definitely bent on these and also uh, just take a note of the nose pieces yeah but you have to readjust them if they get also something I didn't notice um, the lenses aren't perfectly round they're uh, yeah they're cut off a little bit at the edge that's why I like them I think but and uh, but slightly uh, rounded so yeah they're not round but they're roundish Roundish. Round-esque. It, it's a, it's a shape of some type but it continues along in a general same shape and same this anyway okay so the final pair these are my favorite I bought them just for their name because they are the Beverly these are the Beverly and they are of course in classic because they are black and I just think they're fun no, I, I, I swore back in college, you and a friend used to call each other Beverly. Why no. is that? No, no, we didn't call each other. But I think, I think it was a commercial. I think it was one of those ridiculous commercials. You know, like the Burger King commercials or the Geico and you commercials just ca- kept on that calling. were funny. No, it was an Orbit commercial. I think for the gum. You know, like when they were arguing, they're like, "You lint liquor." <laughs> I and think they it said was Beverly, the and they were yeah, and it was like whatever Beverly, and so that was. <laughs> A part of it that stuck, and we just kept going back and forth. And whenever we'd hear anybody say anything we disagreed with, we'd be like, "Whatever, Beverly." And so, in the dorms in college, in our early younger years, that was our thing. So I guess this was my throwback, and now I look like I belong now in a nineteen fifties like... movie in like some suit with like really big shoulder. Um, and named hats. Beverly. Named Beverly. <laughs> so, so going over all these sunglasses, which was your favorite? Um, hands down the Ava. I love me that Ava. That, that, that rosé, that pink color. Yep. See, these are the ones right here. I don't mind the Beverly's. They're fun and they're funny. So but for, these I like. And for me, it's got to be the, the Calvin. What color are these Cafe. again? Cafe. I don't know. I just kind of feel like in 1950 or 1970s club or something like that, you know, brown suit with that hideous like wallpaper pattern on there you <laughs> the know the actually undershoot. the lore <laughs> and the the big the big uh what you call the you know they usually have the double breasted uh the suits but the but the lapels Is it, oh lapels oh yeah yeah I was would be comfort. just straight out to the shoulders about as wide as batman's cape yeah i, mean, just, I can imagine that and i'm, I'm fluff wearing ball of hair. <laughs> fluff ball of hair chest hair which i don't have <laughs> and yeah the gold we can out. improvise but that's but still it's not usually something i go for but like she said before but i'm kind of digging coming out of that yeah. so uh f- anything else to tell our viewers um so yeah if you guys are interested you like any of these styles you can check the link below use our code and you will get 50 percent off five zero that's yeah. right Well, thank you guys again so much for joining us. I'm Madison Gary. Let's grow together. And I'm Andrew Gary. Stay cool, my friends. Bye.